Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi fellow mathematicians, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. Hey, this past week I was teaching some fifth graders math. And we were going over some expressions and it had something to do with, you know, uh, we were doing associative and uh, commutative, commutative property of multiplication and also, we were working with exponents. And they were going, well, wait a minute. Let's take a look here. We have order of operations. That was a little confusing to these fifth graders. I, I know they've seen it before, but we had to review it. One of the things that we can do is we call it PEMDAS. Or, I learned it as PEDMOS. But PEMDAS, I like it because it has a mnemonic. We have right here, mnemonic device. is one that helps your memory. A mnemonic device for remembering the order of operations is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. PEMDAS. Please is parentheses. Excuse is exponents. My dear is multiplication and division. And Aunt Sally is addition and subtraction. That is the order that you go in. However, if it's at the same level such as multiplication and division, it's whichever one comes operation comes first in that order from left to right and same thing with addition and subtraction well, let's see what that means when it comes to exponents what's going on with an exponent and right here we we're talking about powers and we have a base which is this number right here you know that's number nine but that's going to be base nine a lot of times you see it as base ten but I wanted to put it as a 9 because it can be any base. And we have that exponent here, which is where you raise that base to a power of a number. And that number can be a negative number or a positive number. We're not going to get into negative numbers today. But let's take a look at base 10 numbers and their exponents. Well, we were going over a few things and this number came up. And it was a 10 to the 0. And they just thought it was just 10 because there's no power to it. Well, actually, any number, it doesn't matter if it's 10 or 10,000 raised to the power of 0, that's always going to be equal to 1, no matter what. So just remember that a number raised to the power of 0 equals 1. And from what I understand, that was uh, something that was agreed to many, many years ago. Okay. Now, we had a number and it was 10 to the 0, 10 to 1, 10 to 2. And they, I was going, well, how many zeros are in each of these? Well, right here, there's zero zeros. See, I did that with a zero. When it's 10, base 10, to the power of 1, it's just 1, 0. And 10 squared, or 10 to the power of 2, is 2 zeros. But wait, how does that look like when we expand that out? So 10 to the power of 1 is equal to 10. So we have just 1, 0. 10 squared is equal to 10, and then I have two zeros there. 10 cubed is equal to 1,000. And 10 to the fourth, or the fourth power, is equal to 10,000. So notice that it's 1, 0, 1, 0, 2, 2, zeros, 3, 3, zeros, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, zeros. Go. Easy peasy. I just wanted to get this quick video out for you so that you have a better understanding of base 10 and how it works. And then also I wanted to make sure that you understood PEDMAS. Until next time, this is Mr. Woods Teaches. And remember, math fluency replaces math anxiety. <laughs>